Hello, brothers and sisters. Have you ever seen people complaining that God at times is not fair? There are possibilities that when everything which happens on earth, we judge or we gauge as per human standards, at times God will appear unfair to us. At times God can raise a person to become a president, to become a minister, to become a CEO or a governor or a manager or any, any senior position in a certain country. And when you see that person or when you check the background of that person, sincerely he or she doesn't deserve to hold such a position based on human standards. But why do we complain so much when God raises people <clears throat> which we don't expect them? Jesus himself was not a Levite, but why did God make him a high priest? Remember, it is God himself who said priests should come from the Levites. Any person who was supposed to be a priest should have followed the Levitical order. And at times when people say Jesus was a priest, most people used to ask, but this person is from the tribe of Judah, not the tribe of Levi. Later, God spoke to his people. And those who understood spirituality, they were told and they understood why they said Jesus was the high priest in the order of Melchizedek, not in the order of Levites. If somebody is a king, automatically they know that their son becomes a king when they die. Or maybe when they become very old or, or, or when they become very sick and they don't have hopes they will, they will heal. But at times, God shifts kingship or kingdom from one family to the other. The likes of Paul, I mean the like of Saul, not Paul, Saul. Saul knew very well that he is a king and his son, maybe Jonathan, will become a king after him. But what happened? God chose David instead of Saul. Look at the family of David. Remember Solomon, based on human standards, deserved not to be a king. But God chose Solomon to be a king. In the book of 1 Chronicles chapter 28, we will start with verse 4 to 7. It is written, Yes, the Lord. Now remember this is David is speaking. David who had more sons, more older sons than Solomon. He's saying, Yet the Lord, the God of Israel, chose me from the whole from my whole family to be king over Israel forever. He chose Judah as a leader. And from the tribe of Judah he chose my family. And from my father's sons, he pleaded to make me king over Israel. Remember, David was not the firstborn of Jesse. All of my sons and the Lord has given to me, has given me many. David had many sons. He has chosen my son Solomon to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. He said to me, Solomon, your son is the one who will build my house and my courts. For I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. I will establish his kingdom forever if he is answering in caring, if he is unswerving in caring, carrying out my commands and laws, as is being done at this time. So during the time of David, there were some laws of God which were being followed. So Solomon is being promised king kingdom as long as he keeps on keeping the God's word. But remember, Amnon was the firstborn of David. But remember, he died. Absalom killed, killed his brother since his sister was, was raped. Absalom was very handsome. As Absalom wanted to be a king, he wanted to overthrow his own father. But remember, there is also Adonia, who was older than Solomon. Adonia was made a king by people who knew very well this person, this 
son of David is older than Solomon. And he gave sacrifices. There were some, some priests and some very senior people in David's kingdom who anointed Adonia to be the king. But later Solomon was made the king by David himself. And, at, and remember, Solomon was made a king even before David died. His mother Bathsheba, Bathsheba pleaded with David to make Solomon king before he died because he knew very well that she knew very well that if her husband David died, the kingdom will go to other people. So based on human standards, Solomon deserved not to be a king because he was not the firstborn of David. And remember, his mother was not among <laughs> the first wives of David. The first wife, second wife, third wife, fourth wife, fifth wife, sixth wife. He did it, she did it belong there. But even after Adonijah or Adonia sacrificed and was made a king, God did not want him to be a king. Same applies to our life nowadays. When we are voting, whether your country is democratic or whichever you call it, at times God might make a person, a different person to be a president. Then we go fast, pray, cry to God that God, this person should be the president. We look on the negative side of this person, but we don't ask the Holy Spirit why he chose the same person. So when your candidate loses, take heart. When your candidate loses or doesn't win, whether he's a president, prime minister, CEO, governor, senators, member of parliament, member of county assemblies, name them. Ensure that you don't lose heart. You don't rebuke the person who has won. Because you might carry judgment without your knowledge so when god says a certain person will lead it doesn't mean that such a person is an angel it doesn't mean that that such a person will do 100 percent based on your will or your wish at times god will shift kingdomship or leadership from one family to the other because he wants a different order maybe the first order does not do as per the prophecy or does not do what God wants it to be done. So kingdomship will be shifted from this, this family to another family, which will do God's will. And when we understand such things, we'll never continue complaining that God is unfair, that God does not want us to do what we want, and yes, and yet we live in this world. And may the Lord bless you.